Highs in the mid to upper 70s this afternoon. This time of year, normally we're in the lower 60s, so we're going to be running way above normal. It's going to be in the high country where we see 60s today, along with some 50s, 55 Leadville, 59 degrees later on in Aspen. Look at the cloud cover moving in from the southwest, just like the last several days. We're going to see high cloudiness throughout the day. One thing we don't have are those low clouds this morning, so no fog issues like we had yesterday morning. It is raining in southwest Colorado where we have extreme to exceptional drought, so it's great to see some rain down that way. Durango, Cortez, up through Telluride, and even into Delta and Montrose. We have some rain this morning. That rain coming from Arizona. Look at all of this moisture across Arizona. It's just pouring in Phoenix this morning. That's what's left of what was Hurricane Rosa. And then off the coast of San Francisco, we have an upper level storm system. That upper level low is going to help to drag a lot of that moisture into Colorado over the next couple of days. We've got a cold front that's going to come down from Wyoming tomorrow night, help cooling things down. And as that system moves through with the front, pretty good chance of seeing rain around here, uh, meaning the Denver, Boulder and Fort Collins areas tomorrow night into Thursday. And then behind that one, we've got another storm system that'll keep the weather very unsettled through the weekend and into next week. Here's the future cast three o'clock this afternoon. You can see those showers and storms in the high country. If we get any rain today in Denver, it's going to be after 3 p.m. through about 7 or 8 p.m., but there's just a 20% chance for that. Tomorrow, just a 10% chance of rain. Most of the rain will hold off until after dark tomorrow night when that front arrives. 70% chance of rain and then cool and unsettled for Thursday, Friday, and the weekend.